Welcome, everybody, to episode two with the man, the myth, the legend, Barry Tubbs. Um, I hope that you I'm got, not a myth. No, what do you mean? I, 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 thank you. One of the things I appreciate about Barry is that he will correct you. And I received that, sir. If you didn't hear the last episode, uh, please go back and catch it. We talked about the value of having a value system, which is just an amazing statement that I first heard today from you. <laughs> We're going to pick up there. Um, I talked a little bit about the history that Barry and I have together over the last couple decades. We've been all over the world together. I've seen him in the times when uh, there was, you know, great opposition, everything stacked against you. But he's one of those men that uh, stay consistent in tough times. And that's the kind of man that I want to be. I don't want to lose my cool. I want to stay even. And in doing that, you've really built what I consider the highest level of success. You're married to a woman that loves you and you love her, your 50 kids. 50 years. 50 years. Wow. We need to come back and do a podcast on how you did <laughs> that'd that. Be, that'd be some statistics right there. <laughs> so yeah. we're going to kind of jump back in today. Um, kind of springboarding off that statement, the value of having a value system personally and how that value system is the rudder of your life. And it's easy to look out mm. and be critical and judgmental of what's going on in the world. But when it all comes down, my very first responsibility is me. What's my value system? And am I living up to those values? Obviously, we all make mistakes and do it wrong, but they're because I'm a Christian, I, there is there are certain things that are laid out for me already. It's something to live up to. Kind of like when I think about the United States and I think about the Constitution, <clears throat> obviously there are things in this country that were broken then and are still broken in a lot of cases. But that Constitution gives us something to live up to or values to move towards. And so on that note, we've got this election coming up here in a little bit. It, the country seems very divided if we believe any part of what we see on social media and the news networks. I'd like for you to just jump in on the political system, the Democratic and Republican platforms, the difference in those two things and how the value system personally that we have and the value system that each of those represent should affect the decision that we have to make in that area? Sure. We have a benefit <clears throat> of having traveled outside this country. Most people do not have mm. the benefit. See, it's difficult to relate if you have never experienced mm. anything different to what things could be like. We've been countries around the world, Africa, South America, various places that we've been, third world countries. Yeah. It makes you appreciate. Oh my goodness. This country. Yeah. I mean, when I get off the plane, <laughs> When we get back from some of the places that we get back from, I literally want to get down on my knees and kiss the ground. There is no place like America. And that's the appreciation that is lacking mm. <clears throat> in most people in this country yeah. because they can't relate to it. Yeah, It's like seeing something on TV, a tornado, the devastation of it, and you say, man, that's really bad. Yeah, That's different in standing in the midst of it yeah. or experiencing it. It's a totally different perspective. And that's what we're seeing today is so many people that do not have a clue. The privilege that they have, even poor people in this country would be considered prosperous yeah. compared to the places that we've been. Oh, yeah. So that's where our perspective and the value system that we have comes into play. Everyone wants their children to have more than the parents had. Yeah. That's good to some extent. 
But what we see today is we want to eliminate all adversity. We mm. want to eliminate all struggle. Mm. Adversity is our friend. Yeah. Because it helps us to grow stronger in our resolve, stronger, and it it exposes what we really believe. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> so as this country developed, and most people don't know the history of our country. Yeah. It's not taught because the effort has been to revise our history. Yeah. Mm. Doesn't line up with the narrative, so let's just change it. Exactly. <laughs> no government is perfect because a government is made up of people. That's right. And people are not going to be perfect. This country is not perfect, but it's far ahead oh my of yes. anything yeah. else that's out there. Yeah. If you just even the even the developed countries, Europe, yeah, you know, which is much older than we are, yeah, and yet we are so far ahead of them. Mm. In a mere two hundred years, this country has come to the point of being the leader in this world, yeah, in almost every by almost any uh, rating that you want to put on it in any particular area. You only have to look at the number of people trying to get into this country. Right. Yeah. <laughs> hmm? yeah. That are trying to immigrate here. Right. It, legally or illegally. Right. Well, what is it that's so attractive about this country? Everyone is looking for a better life. Yeah. Mm. And most of the people that are coming to this country, they're not expecting anyone to give them something. Now, some are. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, the productive people that come to this country are only wanting the opportunity right. to be the best they can yeah, be. The land of opportunity. That's exactly yeah. right. Yeah. And so they come here and they indeed do that. Yeah. They make the most of the opportunity. Regrettably, the people that are citizens of this country are not doing the same. Well, it kind of goes back to what you were saying before those people have, in contrast, a life in possibly a socialist government, and they can see the difference. Exactly. They know that yep. place is different. That's right. They know exactly what their limitations are mm-hmm. and the control that they're under. And so that's what they want to get away from. And that is the same reason that the people that came from Great Britain, Mm. Europe, came here. Yeah. We want to be our own person. We want personal liberty to worship the way that we want, to believe what we choose, and to have the opportunity to succeed or fail. Yeah. And that's what we're losing, the personal responsibility aspect of it. We're, We're ceding that. To government. Wow. And that's dangerous. Yeah. And that's what the decision is about today. What we're seeing today is the opportunity to either be personally responsible and make your own way in life and have that opportunity or to allow the government to dictate to you how you live your life. Wow. How much your income will be. How much we will take from you. See, the government doesn't have anything. All they have is what they take from us. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most people don't understand that. And well, well, the gov- it's like <clears throat> some of the things that we see in, in today in the rioting and the, uh, the things that are taking place. And the protesters are saying, well, it doesn't matter if we burn the building down. They have insurance. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so that's justification for burning down a building. Yeah, wow. the insurance they have the insurance. Yeah. Yeah. You know, well, it just, it takes all the personal responsibility out of it. Right. And we cannot think that anything that we do does not have an impact on someone else. Yeah. yeah. There is no crime that doesn't have an impact on someone else. There is no action that we take that does not have an impact on someone else. Yeah. The question is this. What kind of fruit am I growing on someone else's tree. Hmm. In other words, what kind of impact am I having on someone else's life? 
No man is an island. Every person has an impact on someone else. So your value system then determines which route am I going to take? Yeah. Do I have the best interest of my fellow citizens or human beings on mm-hmm. this earth in mind, or do I have my own self-interest in mind? What is my value on life? These will make a lot of decisions for you. Yeah. We're talking about politics. Politically, your value system is going to determine who you vote for. The attempt is by politicians to persuade us, I'm going to do the best thing for you. Mm. I'm going to make life easier for you by taking care of your health care. There's no constitutional right to health care. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Where do you find that in the Constitution? It's not there. Mm-hmm. The welfare system, it creates dependency. Yeah. Yeah. This is politically motivated. Yes. Because this group, politician says, oh, we're going to we're going to increase your income. There should be added value in your life. In other words, if you work at a company and you say, I get paid X number of dollars. Well, you get paid X number of dollars based on what the value that you add to the company. Yeah. If you want to make more money, add more value. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's pretty simple, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And so, that's where the discrepancy comes in. Okay, we want a minimum wage of fifteen dollars an hour, or whatever you want to place, wherever you want to put it. Yeah. Well, the question is not the minimum wage. The question is value, right? And so, this is where the the contention is. Yeah, is which direction are we going to take this country? Mm-hmm. It's been based on capitalism Mm -hmm. it's almost like that word has been turned into it's a villainous word that's right capitalism that's right the language see language has been changed Mm -hmm. and those things that in past were good are now bad yeah because the narrative has changed and you're talking about this country and the people in this country We must not think that what we see on social media or what we see on the news is what this country is like. You're looking at a very small percentage. You're being presented with a narrative in order to persuade you that this country is seriously divided. Yeah. This country is not seriously divided. Go out on the street and talk to people. See, this didn't start here. Mm -hmm. It started in the Garden of Eden. Wow. Caesar didn't come up with divide and conquer. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. All right. Now, we're getting a little Christian here. Go for it. You know, a little (laughs) Bible here. Yeah. (laughs) But nevertheless, that's our value base. Yeah. The enemy came in and divided the two people that were on this earth at that time <laughs> right. and created confusion yeah. and dissension, misinformation. Mm-hmm. Wow. Hmm? Yeah. Because he said something that wasn't true. Yeah. And that's what the same thing we see going on today. Yeah. The Bible says a house divided against itself cannot stand. And that's the attempt today is to divide this country and to it's a false narrative. Mm. This country is not divided. Yeah. There's different viewpoints. Sure. That's fine. You know. I have no I have no quarrel with you leading your life as you see fit. Mm-hmm. I may not agree with it. I may not agree with your lifestyle choices. That's okay. But I don't want you telling me how 
to lead my life. Yeah. Let me make my own choices. Yeah. And that's what we see today. The whole cancellation culture, that's about someone else deciding, no, yeah. your opinion is wrong. Hmm. And we're going to punish you for having that decision. Yeah. Uh-huh. In order to control you and cause you to back away and be quiet. Hmm. Because if you have a differing opinion and you never voice it, you're not accomplishing anything. Yeah. Yeah. And you're not having an impact on anyone else's life. It's interesting. I've had people say to me that you don't realize this, but and they would tell me this. I've been watching you. And you said this to me years ago. It changed my life. Hmm. I had no clue. <laughs> Yeah. Right? I had no clue. You don't know who is watching you. Mm-hmm. And the impact that you're having on someone else's life without you ever knowing it. Yeah. Now, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah, absolutely. Exhibiting a lifestyle choice to other people and making it attractive to them so that they can make the appropriate lifestyle choices. So good. We're in contention. We are in a competition for how this country is going to go. Yeah. And whether we are indeed going to continue with a country that gives its citizenry the opportunity to choose Mm. the life that they would lead. What you were talking about with the Bible story, the Garden of Eden, the th- very thing that literally God said would kill you was what was made attractive. And I kept thinking about it because I just looked right across me and there's this Apple computer <laughs> with one bite out of it. And I'm like, yeah, it just got me on the thought, like, why, why do you think people are so easily deceived and in, in, in it's being made attractive to them, the very things that, that, that kill us. Like, why is it so attractive is the question I keep asking myself. I don't don't know, maybe kind of just a vague off topic question. (laughs) No, I think that's really good because that's what's, I believe that that's what, from my perspective, that's what's happening because I think that America is the best place in the world to live because it's the only place that I know that's governed by a constitution that provides us the, without any limits. We can be whatever we desire to be or feel that we're called to be uh, in this earth. But right now there's a narrative that says, no, this way is better. And those ways we've seen throughout history are the things that kill societies. You don't have to look very far to see that socialism, communism, does not work right there are countries where we've been yeah venezuela today doesn't work yeah when you take the initiative away from people Mm -hmm. i was in the soviet union ussr Mm -hmm. before the wall came down it's bland yeah it's just the same. There, people walk around with their head hung down mm-hmm. because they have no initiative. They are oppressed. They, they are yeah. deaf. They are totally oppressed and have no hope. Yeah. When you take hope away, there's no expectation that anything's ever going to get better. Mm. Now that's the masses, but the interesting thing is that there's someone at the top. Who supposedly has your best interests at heart, mm. but they're doing quite well. Yeah. <laughs> they're yeah. not living the way that you are. Right. So what's wrong with this picture? Well, I think we said earlier, if you don't learn from history, you're doomed to repeat it. Yeah. And that's one of the things that has happened in this country over the years as we've looked back and we've said, No, we need to change that. We need to improve it. 
And the effort now is to take us back, not to go forward. Yeah. Mm. Let's build on our successes. Yeah. Every person yeah. in life that goes through this, you hear this didn't start the way that it is now. I'm talking about the studio. Yeah. You came in here, it was an empty building. But you put forth the effort and the work, blood, sweat, and tears, and you sacrificed. I know that's not a very good word nowadays. Mm. People don't like to hear <laughs> sacrifice. Yeah. yeah. Listen, you don't get anything without a trade off. Yeah. Yep. You're trading something to get something. Yeah. 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 Wow. And that's what we're being presented with today in this society, in this political environment that we're in. We're being presented with trade-offs. What are you willing to give up if I will give you this? Mm -hmm. We're being bought. People are being bought. And they don't know it. That's correct. They think that, oh, okay, I'm willing to cede my personal responsibility in this area of life. If you will give me whatever it may be. Wow. We're presenting, and see, that's where the attraction is that you were talking about earlier. The attraction of that apple was, no, this won't hurt you. No, you're going to become better. Wow. You're going you're gonna to rise higher intellectually. That was what was being presented to Eve. No, you're going to know. You're going to. You're going to know what God knows. You're going to know good and evil. Whereas God was saying, "No, I don't want you to know anything about evil. I just <laughs> yeah. want you to know good." Yeah. Yeah. And that's where it all started. Well, that battle continues today. Yeah. Good and evil. The attraction. You know, we see it. Marketing, it's all attractive. You look at the ads for alcohol or the drugs or whatever it may be. They don't show you the homeless people living on the street, yeah. which is the end result of that attractive mm -hmm. lifestyle that you thought. I mean, it's like advertising is just the epitome of presenting you with something attractive. It's like this toothpaste. It's going to change your life. <laughs> <laughs> How huh? could toothpaste change my life? <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, that's the way it's presented, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, you, you, you use this toothpaste and your life is suddenly so much better. And they show you that enough. See, repetition is very persuasive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the way we learn. They show you that enough so that when you walk in the store, you subliminally. Yeah. Go toward that toothpaste that you've been hearing yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way that it works. Yeah. Wow. And it's the way that we work. Yeah. So we, we, have to, we have to bring ourselves into a place where we are thinking for ourselves. Oh, my gosh. So good. Yeah. Don't let someone else. Don't do the group think thing. Yeah. And that is letting someone else do your thinking for you. And there's a difference in unity. I believe in unity, but I also believe that we're all individuals. You know, because I'm a Christian, I believe that God creates, created the world and created the inhabitants thereof. But he went through the extra effort to make sure that every human that exists on the planet is an individual different. You know, we've all got different dna we've all got different fingerprints and so there's a value in being the individual that god created you to be and i i feel that that's something that's being pulled away from people in today's culture and um man i'm i'm so excited about our next <laughs> podcast <laughs> Um, thank you so much. Well, in the next one, we're going to give you answers oh, on I'm which so, way should you go. I'm so excited. Hey, if you're on the fence <laughs> and kind of in a place in the valley of decision politically over like, what, how should I vote? And you're looking at the candidates and you're like, how does this even make sense? Uh, there's some truth bombs that are about to get dropped on you that I think will bring some real 
clarity in the area of politics. Thank you so much for being with us today. We can't wait to be with you again on the next episode of Everything's Everything.